It's all come down to this. The Rugby World Cup Grand Final between the Black Ferns and the England Red Roses. For the last month, we've had world records smashed, witnessed some fantastic rugby, and of course, potentially the biggest hit, boy. And it's caught Rugby World Cup fans in a whirl. Behind more than 30,000 of those poi is 16-year-old Georgia Latu. She's the CEO of Poi Tiki Poi, an embodiment of her ancestors' finest art skills. And she's here today to teach you and me how to make poi. All right, we're joined by Georgia Latu, the CEO behind Poi Tiki Poi. Kia ora, Georgia. What are we doing today? We are going to make your own Portiki poi. So there's nine steps in um, making poi uh, in this puka puka and we'll have an awesome conversation too. Amazing. Now, what's the first step? But we'll start off by, it. <clears throat> we've already done this process. So we got your hooker hookers attached to your toter and so you've got um, your toter here, hooker hooker here, and then I'll just get you to hold that and then I'll braid and Amazing. we'll port it all. Now Georgia, how did you get into poi tiki poi? Uh, we, I started my business when I was 12 years old, when I was the largest point manufacturing company in the world, but it started off um, needing some pute and then won People's Choice Award for a business startup award, and it's just grown since then really. And looking into the Rugby World Cup, you've been a huge driving force behind the tournament. How did you get into it? Uh, we got into it um, from an email uh, that started off with wanting 2,000 poi, upped it to 5, upped it to I think 12 and then added another 10 on top of that and now we're at 22. But overall I think we've made uh, 30,000 poi um, uh, for Kai Totoko at the Rugby World Cup this year. Yeah. And how do you, how do you, you know, looking at the stands and, and seeing it in the game, what does this mean to you? Uh, I think it's a huge moment in history for Aotearoa and revitalising our taonga. So for me, I'm very proud um, to be a young Māori wahine and through the barriers and through everything, I'm glad to see this happen because a lot of people ask, um, well, when do you have time to be a young um, rangatahi? And I say, well, if I don't do the things I do now, when will it happen and who will make it happen? So I'm just happy to see this change and this movement through Aotearoa. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now, Georgia, you're obviously an, an expert. What is the message you've got for people at home? For people at home, if you struggle with doing a four braid, K to pie, do a three braid, just like you plait your hair, and there's different rotaki to do it. You can have somebody holding it, you can do two people. And also um, on our website, I'm pretty sure we have a video um, explaining how to do poi braids, poi toda. Yeah. So once um, you've, you think that the length is, is suitable for your arm, you actually want to um, measure it from your wrist all the way to your forearm. So if it reaches um, to the middle here, uh, you know you're done. If it's too long, undo it. If it's too short, keep going. And then you just want to add a knot. Kabai. So the next part of making your poi is grabbing your dekron, uh, grabbing a little piece like this, the same size as about a 20 cent piece of pūtia. And then you want to put it in the middle of your tota there. You want to section it into four parts and then um, tie knots on but just like this. Now, Georgia, how many poi do you think you've made in your life? So I think in my lifetime, easily um, 70,000 poi probably have gone through um, past my, myself and my whanau, but it's really, um, he waka eke noa, um, we're all in this together. I couldn't get through all of parts of the poi by myself. It really does take a team to make poi. Bye-bye. So now we're at step Toru, where we're going to uh, add our upoko to the tinana of our poi. So I'll get you to put um, your toter in between and then with your hands you want to cup um, the fluff around the poi. So I'll help you do that. And then you want to form it around your toter. Two rubber bands around your upoko uh, as many times as you can until you feel like it's secured. Yeah, that'd be enough, eh? A step far is um, adding your tape, you just add, place your tape around to cover your entire rubber band and then I'll just get you to grab the scissors and then snip the tape off for me. Let's take a snip there. Awesome. So this is my favourite part of making a poi, is um, just because it's the final bit to making it nice and gorgeous. Now you've made 30,000 for the Rugby World Cup. What's the team behind you like? Um, we uh, have a diverse uh, community uh, backing us. Putting out a tunnel to Fano to come and tow to call this copper We didn't expect um, 
the amount of people that were keen to come in, but then through that we've been able to um, employ people, first time employment, and um, being able to do that, I think for myself and my community, it's amazing. I'm um, seeing people get up uh, and come to mahi and eat together um, and live and breathe poi together. I think it's amazing. Yeah. We've finally got to step five. Um, so this part is the trimming of your poi. So you want to trim um, your kiriho, your plastic, and you also want to trim your huka huka. So the best way to do it is um, putting it all to one side, giving one big snip, and then um, doing the rest. Come on, so you've trimmed that end, and then you trim the huka huka. So the best way to do this, um, we've found, is holding it like that, and then just trimming straight across. And here you have your very own poi. Now Georgia, we've made the poi, what's some important tikanga to remember when using your poi? I think um, the most important tikanga or afukaro to have is um, that these poi were here before you, um, that they've been sent down from our matua tipuna and so it's very important that we respect them by respecting them through um, just keeping them off the ground, uh, keeping them off seats and tables where food are uh, present, but uh, ultimately it's to have fun with your poi. Um, to acknowledge it and um, use it to support our black ferns and to support. Now the black ferns this Saturday night, do you think we've got it? We back them, up the black ferns, but I think uh, it will be such an amazing game and um, ultimately history making um, using Poi again to support Mana Wayne. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.